Hi guys, hope you all are doing well. So today I'm going to review the New York Launch by Pack Cosmetics, which is their Sweet Sensation Lip Creams. So they have sent me all the trades and I have been testing these Sweet Sensation Lip Creams for almost a week now. I have worn them a couple of times then I have also recorded it. So I'll show you guys how I wore this lip color in the afternoon around 2 o'clock and it looks pretty awesome. Then here how it looks after a full meal. I had curry chowder, drank some water, ate some salad. So this is how it looks. So it's like almost half of it is gone and it has it, it almost looks like a stain. The total stain bar is close to six hours. If I compare these with NYX soft matte lip creams, these were these are very pigmented, way more pigmented than NYX soft lip creams. And the stain pile is more or less the same. And there are 20 shades. However, I can see mostly pinks and reds here. A few browns. They have a few browns here. But for the most part, there are so many reds. I would have loved to see more bolder colors like um, probably more in purple category, more in plum category. Yeah, maybe they will expand the shade range after... Uh, few months or something, I have no idea. So stain bar is pretty decent, like 5 to 6 hours you will get and after that there will be a stain. So I will be swatching all the shades from 1 to 20 so without wasting much time. Let's jump into the swatch. So this isn't the best shade, it's quite crumbly on the lips. I don't know, the formula here is really bad, not recommended, though if you are of very fair skin tone, this might look good on you. Number two is Savage. This color is very nice and it almost looks like a wine red. Uh, also, I would like to tell you that the formula on these is moozy, but it's on the drier side. It's not like a creamy mousse. It's more like a dry powdery mousse. If your lips are dry, then the formula is going to emphasize it. Uh, but you, if your lips are nicely moisturized and scrubbed, this will look really beautiful. Can you see? It stains. It stains really nicely. It stains very evenly. Number three is Hustle and Shine. So this is a very bright color. And after applying these, you should not smack your lips. Otherwise, the formula bunches up and crumbles. And also, when the shade is like bright and uh, light, the formula is not great. So, the for formula of this one, number 3 and number 1, uh, is not great. Number 4, Fam Jam. Again, this is a very bright, I don't know, coral red. It doesn't look this bright in the tube so the color on the tube doesn't really uh, represent the color inside the lipstick as you can see this is very dark red and on the lips it looks almost like a corally red getting a nice application is slightly tricky because it's like a powdery powdery mousse this is number five on fleek the on this one is again very patchy very crumbly. Uh, I'm trying to get an even layer but it's not letting me. So the formula here is again sad. Number six, selfie queen. Formula here is a bit better. The shade is pretty light for me, it's like a pale pink, but it will look good on fair complexion. Next is number seven dapper. Again, a very light pink. It almost looks like a uh, pale pink. Then number eight is a sleigh. Again, if you look at the tube, it looks like a very beautiful red. But on the lips, it's almost like a neon pink. So, and the shade is again very bright and uh, I don't like it on me plus the formula here is again very crumbly 
very patchy. Number nine, boss lady. The color is nice and the formula has become a little better here. Uh, but it took me some time to get an even layer on the top of my lip. But if you are interested in buying a shade, this can be a really good one. In the tube it looks bright but on the lip it's dark. And the formula here is really nice. So number 10 makeup addict. So this one again doesn't really resemble the color of the tube. Uh, it's again a pink, bright pink. Formula is again needed like at least two layers to get it even. And when I was trying to layer it up, the formula was moving around. So number eleven dolled up. So I was not able to find that thing, the word that exactly describes these. I will call these chalky because they look chalky on the lips. They look like uh, you have colored chalk. Number 12, Candid. Again, the formula here is better. The color is also very nice. And uh, it went on really nicely. And it looks nice. 13th, Sun Kissed. So again, this is a very nice dark skin tone friendly shade. And but again, it looks pretty lighter than the color of the tube. But the color is very pretty, it's like a berry tone pink, very suitable for people of my complexion and darker than me. Again, the formula here is uh, much better than this. Number 14, good vibes. Now, this can be a really good everyday color for people of fair to medium complexion. It can even work for my, my skin tone, but I don't really like such kind of pinks, like the lighter pink tones. It's a better formula. Number 15, Old School. This is a very beautiful plum, purple plum shade. And the formula on this one is excellent. This is number 15. So, so far, the only lipstick that has excellent very nice creamy mousse formula and again the color is very very beautiful this color will look good on all skin tone so number 15 which takes the first place like tops the chart for me number 16 slay queen now, the formula is better it's not the worst um, but yes it looks crusty uh, when it's drying, so number 17, go get her. Now, the formula in this one is very nice and it's like a perfect everyday shade for uh, my skin tone. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful shade, and it's very comfortable on the lips. So, this is another beautiful formula from the range. Number 18, wine o'clock. This is how number 18 looks as you can say it's like the color is looking absolutely dear on me and but the formula is nice here it's much better than the previous shades like the shades that I swatched initially number 19 the girls swag so again this color is pretty bright and doesn't really match with the color on the tube but the color is pretty, it looks very nice and it will be very suitable for people of my complexion and darker than me. If you want, you can use a darker fine color lip liner and make it, you know, tone it down a little. But the color is very beautiful on it. And I'm very tired because I have to continuously look into the camera and there is a ring light around it and it strains my eyes. And the last shade is number 20, makeup and makeup. I don't think I'm gonna apply it. My lips are already dying and this color could not even look on, look good on me. Yeah, those were the swatches of all the 20 shades of Pack Sweet Sensation Lip Cream. And uh, to conclude the review, I would like to say that the formula is not uniform across the board. The lighter shades have like a really chalky, dry, crusty texture. And you will not get an even finish even if when you try to layer it up. The darker shades like this one, this one has the best 
texture and best formula. Like it's my favorite shade out of all the 20 shades. It's very beautiful purple and it has a very nice smooth texture. The staying power of these lip trims is around 4 to 5 hours. So once you eat or drink something, the colors will rub off. And But it will leave a stain so you will not be left behind with a bare lip. But uh, the staying part is not like the pack liquid lipsticks. This is like a moussey softer formula. Uh, it will make your lips dry if your lips are already dry and chapped. So make sure to uh, exfoliate your lips and not moisturize them well before applying the lipstick. So I'm going to share my favorite shades from the range that I swatched today. Number 8 Boss Lady. Number 12 Candid. Number 13 Sunkissed. Number 15 Number 15 Old School, number 17 Go Getter, and number 19 Cool Girl Swag. But if you see, out of all the six shades that I have picked, one, two, three, four, four are in red category. One is purple, one is neutral, like a brown. So the variety in the colors is not there. There are too many pinks, there are too many bright pinks, too many reds. And uh, the reds that are dark are these ones. The rest of the reds are very bright and neonish. So I think I out of 20, I will keep these six. These don't really have a strong scent. There's a very, very mild scent uh, I cannot even notice. So yeah, those are the swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, swatch video. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video.